Hello everybody and thanks for clicking on this video. I would just like to say that I've been getting a lot of hate lately, but why? I'm just a YouTuber who's trying to help and entertain people. Please don't comment if you're going to say something hurtful. Anyway, let me just tell you all what I'm going to be talking about today. Today, I will be talking about the one and only Osiris. That son of a beach has been hiding on... Wait. Where is he? Well, he's, he's been hiding inside of his hoodie for too long. By the way, where did you get your hoodie, Osiris? I'm digging that look. I'm actually interested. Is it Walmart, Forever 21, Urban Outfitter? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're not Osiris. You're Bro Vance. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean Brother Vance. Wait, is this Osiris' long lost brother? But that's not all we'll be talking about. The other topics on today's delicious menu is Cade's death and the crazy awesome AI Warmind. The one and only Rasputin. So how about let's get started, you know, like right now. Yeah, let's do it. So first off, listen to this dialogue confirming that Osiris is coming with the next DLC, The Curse of Osiris. This also shows a deep hatred because most of the audio files I'm about to show you about Osiris are from Lord Salad Man and he seems to not like Mr. Ostrich, uh, Osiris. Remember, Ikora restored the Warlock Orders after Osiris was exiled. She shaped this city. He abandoned it. He's dangerous. I don't care what he says or what fool adventure he's led you on. So the rumors are true. Osiris has returned. The Vanguard is much better off with Ikora Ray than with Osiris. As you can see, Osiris is returning, but everyone hates him. Maybe he'll make a good impression to the Vanguard when he comes back in the Curse of Osiris DLC. Next up, time for some Rasputin audio files. Listen up, Guardians. Rasputin is not to be trusted. That war mind will do anything to get what it needs. Fellwinter hoped Rasputin would help us. That hope cost me my brothers and sisters in arms, the Iron Lords. I will not abide losing you, Guardian. If it were up to me, we'd be at all-out war with Rasputin. But my time to lead is over. Our future is in your hands. Man, Salad Dude is hating on everybody, especially Rasputin. But I can understand because it was Rasputin that unleashed Siva onto the Iron Lords and killed them all except Lord Saladin. Next up, Lighthouse Info. In Destiny 1, the Lighthouse was a social space that only the most skilled Guardians can get to. You have to get a 9 card win, 0 loss flawless run in the Trials of Osiris in order to make it there and it seems as though it might be coming back in the next DLC as a new social space for all Guardians. Vex already did a number on Mercury, but there's still plenty of planet left. We'll get back to the Lighthouse. What can you see from the Lighthouse? A way out? You've been to the Lighthouse? I can see the sparks. The war cult will be watching. You've seen the lighthouse on Mercury? Any signs of Osiris? As you saw, the lighthouse is most likely going to play a part in the Curse of Osiris. But now for the sad part. These audio files leak Cade's death. Yes, death like dead like die. Hopefully this is not the case. Some people speculate that Bungie built up hype for this character in Destiny 2 to try and make him a fan favorite, which did work out well. People think that they'll take him away and then bring him back in a future DLC or in Destiny 3 if that comes out. Or they'll just reboot him because he's a robot. There's not a number 6 in his name for no reason. It means he's been rebooted 6 times. Like the Gunsmith Banshee 44 has been rebooted 44 times. Kate's death is upon us. What would you do with that knowledge, I wonder? He wasn't aligned with our greater goals, but Cade was a friend and an ally. He will be missed. He wasn't leadership material, but Cade was a good man, machine or otherwise. Simulations predicted Cade's departure, but not what came after. <laughs> he will be missed. This is so sad. No, but seriously, Bungie, you better not do this. Get a load of this report I read last week. Kid detected a huge, free-floating mass on the edge of the system. He approached and the thing moved. Tentacles, beaks, all kinds of things. Went jetting off into the Kuiper belt faster than he could follow. Yeah, this thing, right? 
I do not understand what that means, but thanks for the nice story, Kay. Anyway, thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more game plan content. In the next video, I'll be talking about how the Cosmotrope, Helmo, Ishtar Sink, Mars, Reef, and Phobos will be coming back to Destiny 2, most likely. Go check out my last video that talks about how the fourth subclass will also be most likely coming to Destiny 2. See y'all!